everybody this is Amy thanks so much again for stopping back to my channel today I'm going to just do a fun colorful flower on a rock I've already washed the rock off it's ready to paint on I'm going to be using my dotting stylus number four deer foot stippler and then this is a low Cornell filbert brush. You could use any any filbert brushes, but I like the small when I'm doing small work. And then this is a flat brush that's from a Donna Dewberry uh, nail kit. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do, take my Deerfoot stippler. I'm going to be using Moon Yellow Eggplant and Magenta. I am going to just directly stick my stippler into the eggplant and kind of top it off a little bit and then I'm going to just randomly choose towards the center of the rock. It doesn't have to be you know exact by any means. Then I'm going to take the filbert brush, dip it into my yellow and do strokes that start from the outer to the center or as close as possible from the outer to the center and then I just kind of slightly turn it I can do this a little bit better slightly turn slightly not slightly turn it towards the center again doesn't have to be perfect because I am going to be doing some other painting around the center now then you just go back and you can you can stagger your your petals if you want. You can paint over these if you feel like it needs another coat, which looks like it may. Or if you're okay with it being a little transparent, that's fine too. Totally up to you. So you could give it some drying time, and I would say probably around maybe an hour or so if you're just going to let it naturally dry by the air. If you're going to hit it with a heat gun or a hair dryer, then do that and continue on. Alright, so I chose to go ahead and hit it with the heat gun, and I'm going to go over and give it another layer. Just very lightly, because you don't want to pull up any of the paint below. I think that's probably more the case when you're working on glass. And I'm choosing not to place this paint with any other color like white, because white would actually probably make it more opaque. And all the paints I use are the folk art paints. I'm trying to think are all these. All these are multi-surface that I'm doing right now. Because I use the enamels. I've been using the enamels on all surfaces for years. Not just glass. These are so pretty. I mean, you can just do these with, you know, just sit around your home, do them to put in your garden. I mean, it's just really very, very bright. So what I'm doing here is just taking the little brush and then just on this, the side, that I'm on the chisel, but on the not flat like this, but I'm turning it sideways and then just doing a little pull around the center just to give it some more color. Make sure let's go like that. And I'm not doing a certain count. If you can do two for each petal, that's fine. Just keep going around until you meet back up. Again, it's just a bright little flower. 
Very simple design. Meant to be a simple design. Whoops. Not meant to be anything more than that. Have you ever painted on rocks? If you have, put, put it down below. If you do this design, feel free to share it on my Facebook page. I do have a link to that down below the video. And I'm finding myself loading my brush up quite frequently just to give it good coverage. Alright, so that's pretty simple, right? So then the next thing I'm going to do is take my stippler, or stippler, excuse me, my dotting tool, and then go into the center. I am going to be going up over the center, the, the um, eggplant that I, plant, that I painted. Just going up over it very easily. And just dotting in as much or as little. You can make this really full so that you can see a lot of dots are just kind of piled up on each other. Or you can leave it to where more of the more of the eggplant is showing. Say so totally, totally, totally up to you. Alright, like that. Now, on my sample, because I always do a painting of, of what I'm going to do on paper, I went ahead and I added in some pink dots. Now, if you want to make a pop more, you could choose maybe even a lighter color, a lighter yellow, a white, um, or you could just leave it with the yellow. I decided to throw in a little bit more color, of course, if I'm dotting on the magenta, it's not showing up, which is fine. But I'm intending it to show up a little bit more in the center. And just keep that going. Alright, so it's pretty easy. Pretty simple. Got a pretty little flower. It takes just a few minutes to do. If you're staying at home still and you want to find something that's fun for people to do, Get on Zoom, have a Zoom party, Zoom painting party, have people gather a stone, gather their paint, and you can sit and enjoy each other's company while you paint along. Alright, pretty easy. I'm not going to add any greenery. I could do that, but I'm just going to leave it like it is. Like it, just simple burst of color. Burst of happiness is what I say. Alright. Thanks so much again for stopping by my channel. I appreciate you taking the time to view my videos. Stay a while and check out some other ones I have. If you're new, make sure you, you click on the uh, subscribe button, notification bell. Give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. And then hit the share button underneath to share it on your social network with all your family and friends. I would certainly appreciate it. Once again, thanks so much for being here to see my video. Until the next time, stay safe and healthy. Have a good one.